Seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time Theme Love Your Enemies A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I say to you that here, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that people would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. We have here four imperatives, love, do good, bless and pray. That leaves no doubt as to how a Christian should behave when confronted with evil. They are proof that Jesus rejected any recourse to violence, because not only does it not improve things, but it makes things worse. It does not help the evildoer to become good unless it unleashes hatred and the desire for revenge. The only creative attitude is love. Some Christians admit that they will never love those who have hurt them. Jesus is asking us to love and to look at the needs of the other. He demands an attitude of acceptance of the other and to take the first step towards the wrongdoer so as to help him out of his sad state. This is why he says that we must pray. Only prayer can dissolve aggressiveness, disarm hearts, communicate the sentiments of our Father who is in heaven and give us the power that comes from the love of God. It would be naive to think that the words of Jesus are to be taken literally. To love does not mean to put up with injustice and silence, but we must take an active part in eliminating injustice. He rejects the means condemned by the gospel to achieve it. Never pay back evil with evil. If your enemy is hungry, give him something to eat. If thirsty, something to drink. Do not be mastered by evil, but master evil with good. In the following verses, Jesus examines three specific cases of just people. People who love those who love them. People who do good to those who do good to them. People who give in order to get something in return. All these people are undoubtedly doing good deeds. But if we want to become children of the Most High, 
we must rise a step higher. We must have the courage to love our enemies and to do good without expecting anything in return. Our reward will be great, says Jesus. Will we have the best blessings in paradise? No, much more. We will be the children of the Most High, for He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Our reward will be to have the joy of our Father, our own happiness in being able to love like Him even on this earth. Jesus, Divine Master, you have revealed to us the secret of the Father, to love without counting the cost. May we imitate you in loving others like you regardless of what they have done to us. May we love, do good, bless and pray, especially for those who have wronged us. Amen.